Welcome to Lightspeed's video support. I'm Vinny, and today I'm here to walk you through some of the features of Advanced Insights. Advanced Insights collects your sales transactions and cross-references that with anonymized customer data to generate reports that go beyond the basic. These reports are designed to give you a clear picture of what is and what isn't working in your business. It's important to note that you need to be signed up for Lightspeed Payments to access Advanced Insights. If you'd like to learn more about Lightspeed Payments, we've got a link in the description with all the details. To get started, sign into your back office and click on Advanced Insights on the sidebar menu. Let's take a look at the staff reports. First up is the sales report for staff. This dashboard breaks down the sales of your staff members to better understand your top performers and underperformers. This report generates a bar chart that lists staff members sorted by their sales totals in your currency. Clicking on any member of staff brings up their scorecard on the right side of the screen. The scorecard lists a series of details about that staff member using data from the last three months and is accessible from any page in the staff section simply by clicking on someone's name. Let's run down the sections one by one. At the top, we see strengths and opportunities, which list product groups they are good at selling and product groups that they aren't selling as well. Then we can see the average sale per cover in local currency, as well as a percentage comparison to their peers. Next is turn time in minutes, which is a measure of how long they spend with each customer. And again, a percentage to give you an idea of how they compare to their peers. Then we see their tips as a percentage of their sales. The next part shows their discounts as a percentage of sales. These discounts are broken down by available categories of discounts. So, for example, if you offer 20% discounts and free discounts, the bar chart will use different colors to display how that breaks down, as well as the business's overall discount averages. Finally, we see that server's average voids percentage and a comparison to the staff's average. There's a filter in the top right that allows you to pick a different metric for the chart instead of total sales, like average amount per receipt or average amount per cover. And there are two other filters that we've seen in other reports. The first is a toggle to switch between gross and net sales. Selecting gross sales will show you the total value of your sales. Selecting net sales will subtract taxes and applied reductions or discounts from your gross sales. The third filter lets you pick the time period you want to look at. Whether it's yesterday's sales, last week's, or even last month's, you can use the dropdown to pick a date range for your report. And if you want to see a wider range, you can manually enter the start and end dates above the calendar and click apply. The sidebar has two categories, position and accounting groups. These checkboxes allow you to selectively pick which staff positions are listed and which groups of menu items are listed. The next dashboard is turn time, and this lists the average amount of time a server spends with each customer, from taking their order to paying the bill. The average turn time is also listed for comparison. This dashboard allows you to see which servers are turning tables over quickly and which ones have opportunities to improve. And the third dashboard is discounts. This bar chart displays the discount as a percentage of their total sales for each server over the period selected. This will allow you to track the discounts that are being applied and spot any patterns or outliers. Clicking on each server brings up a scorecard identical to the one we saw on the staff sales page. Here, you'll see the discount percentage again, but this time over a period of the last three months. And that covers the staff reports for Advanced Insights. If you still have questions or want even more details, you can check out the link to our help page on Advanced Insights in the description below.